The Polytechnic Ibadan has finally reopened on the orders of the Oyo state government. Students of the institution are geared to sit for examinations to conclude the first semester 2019 to 2020 academic activities with a new order of safety. This next report has more. After staying at home for six months due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the students of the Polytechnic Ibadan are very eager to reconnect with their cosmates and also get back to their studies. But things are not the same anymore. From the gates, they encountered new entrance protocols as security officers adhered to the COVID-19 guidelines by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. The security really enforce it on us in the process whereby if you want to enter the school gate without a nose mask on you, you're not able to enter it. You must even use it to cover your nose, not the way I'm using it here. I'm happy to be in school, to see my friends and of course to receive lectures once again. The resumption and the COVID-19 stuff really, let me say, it's a cost in the sense that we are unable to learn more. While students groaned about new protocol, the school management explained that it is for the safety of the polytechnic community. They also added that school resumption will be in batches to achieve social distancing rules. They will be resuming phases because of uh, as much as possible the management had done a plan to curtail uh, 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 congregation of uh, students because of the threat of COVID-19, which the first instant informed our going on forced holiday. A lot of them are already, they have already missed school. So that's why you, the, the, the turnout is unprecedented. HOD Mass Communication Adunola Najim emphasized that the COVID-19 pandemic is a blessing in disguise, as it has fast-tracked innovations in the school, such as e-learning. Last week, we were on virtual head talk with all the staffers of the Polytechnic teaching and not and not teaching alike. So, uh, the school is on top of the game to ensure that uh, there is no occurrence of any untoward uh, 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 incidents of uh, COVID-19. We're now producing nose masks, we are producing hand sanitizers, and we are producing uh, 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 a washing machine that has Trapatite functions. Trapatite functions in the sense that the same facility, one hand machine, will give you water, will give you soap to wash your hand, will provide you the, the, the water to, to wash, and we also provide the dryer. The Polytechnic Ibadan, as well as other institutions globally, was shut down due to the global outbreak of the COVID 19 pandemic. The Imo state government has directed its education ministry to ensure schools reopen for the remainder of the 2020 academic year. This follows the directive by the federal government for schools to reopen across the country. A survey by PLOS TV Africa around some of the schools in Oweri, the Imo state capital, shows some level of readiness to comply with COVID-19 guidelines. The principal of Oweri City Senior Secondary School, Mr. Anyang Chijoki commended the government for urging schools to reopen. From the sort of things, see that the school is very much ready. If coming from the gate, you see a place where we no first mask, no enter. Make sure that this is in there. Students on their part expressed delight over the development while urging their teachers to help them learn better and faster by working harder. I get up with this. I'm very happy because I get to see my friends and also get to write my friends. Now that we are back, we should be expecting the teachers to be hard working, to coming to class on a steady, teaching the students, making them understanding, then have to do something called a revision on the past ones they have learned to bring them back alive, touch some of those subjects and topics so that they can be able to recall what they have learned.